Hi friends, I am Sujoy and in this tutorial I am telling you how to use your calculator in mode 3 stat or statistics yeah. mode. In the first part of this tutorial I told you about the basic of statistics like what is mean median mode, what is range, standard deviation, variance, coefficient of variation and linear regression. And in this part 2 of this tutorial I will tell you how to use your calculator to calculate those values. Before that I would like to introduce you with the modes in this calculator. Number 1 is type mode. Here you can change your mode of operation. Number 1 is single variable statistics, number 2 is dual variable or linear regression, number 3 is the quadratic regression, number 4 logarithmic regression, number 5 e exponential regression, number 6 ab exponential regression, number 7 power regression and number 8 inverse regression. Number 2 data, here you can see your data entered or you can change or modify it from this mode. And this is the frequency column, what is the user frequency column? Suppose we have 15 numbers and out of that one number is repeated 10 times. So instead of writing the whole 15 numbers, you can write other numbers as usual and you can place 10 against the number which is repeated 10 times to indicate its frequency. Suppose I want to insert 3 above 5. So I will highlight 5 and choose edit insert and 3 equals. So 3 is inserted. To delete this 3 or any element, highlight that element and press del. Number 4 is sum. Let's find out sum of x square. Number 5 is variation mode. Let's find out mean. Number 2. Population data deviation. sum of standard deviation. You can also find out the variance which is the square of standard deviation. Number 6 is mean max mode. I told you about range in the first part of this tutorial. The range is given by the maximum value of the distribution minus minimum value of the distribution is 5. Number 7, distribution submenu. In distribution submenu, you can find out the probability of standard normal distribution. You can use these options PQRT individually or in combination mode like this. P of 3 T is 0.45893 for our data means the distribution probability is that a value less than the normal is variable T when the sample value is 3. The normalized variable t is calculated using standard deviation s and mean. So single variable mode is done. Let's head up to dual variable or linear regression. It will ask you to clear memory. Press equals to. Linear regression y is given by a plus bx. Let's enter x values. 1, 1.2, 1.5, 1.6, 2.1, 2.4, and 2.5. Entering y values 1, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.8, 1 1.6, and 1.7. The type edit and data mode is same as single variable but in sum mode we are provided with many options like sum of x, sum of y, sum of x into y is like this and distribution mode here is many options too like mean of x, mean of y, standard deviation of x, standard deviation of y etc. Number 6 mean max mode, mean of x, mean of y, max of x, max of y like this and in distribution Number 7 mode, regression mode, you can find out the A, B, R like this, A is the coefficient term A, B is the coefficient term B and R is the correlation coefficient, let's find out R, it is 0 0.996, the value of R if more closer to 1 then your approximation of linear regression is accurate. And if the value of R is away from 1 and more closer to 0, then your approximation of linear regression may not be so accurate. 
so let's find out approximated value of x but you can find it directly so you have to use this like this 1x bar similarly for y bar 1y bar like this let's find out coefficient of variation for x first it is given by standard deviation of x divided by mean of x times 100 it is 30.85 for x and for y it is 18.17 so from the definition of coefficient of variation we can say the x values are more variable or less consistent and y values are more consistent or less variable so friend this was my tutorial on how to use your calculator in mode 3 stat or statistics mode if you like this video please like it and subscribe to my youtube channel that will encourage me to post more videos additionally you can share this video or evaluate the video among your friends and family because knowledge is meant to be shared so thanks for watching bye